Hello YouTube, it's Das Gregor, and today we'll be looking at another midweek Gen 2 in review issue. Today I'll be talking about the potential problem of installing Chromium on your Gen 2 box and in regards to what can happen if certain news flags are not set properly and this is a good example of how you're, you're following along doing what it tells you to do and suddenly it's just not gonna work and you're going eh, what now so without further ado let's look at this if I type in and I'm in a different Gen 2 box right now that I haven't installed because I figured it out and got it working on my other one so since I haven't done it on this one if we do an emerge dash AV chromium hit enter there it's going to of course come through and tell you all your dependencies and the things that need to be fixed so it will work now granted I've got auto unmask update set up in my make.conf but because I use the dash AV it's going to ask me first whether or not I want to do the updates so it calculates the dependencies and hopefully it won't take too long here there we go now if we can look at this right here and I'll get right on it in a moment here okay so as we're looking here we'll notice that in dev libs live at lib xml2 is saying it needs to use a different use flag ICU if we look down here it's also kind of telling us that that the use changes need to occur would we like to add these changes yes we want to add those changes so we say yes to it yeah, I must have had a, another character. It does that. You do an etc update. And I forgot. Sutu etc update. It shows it. I already know exactly what it's going to do, but for you guys, I'll go ahead and show that it's telling you right here that it's going to add the required by WW Client Chromium. Dash 29, it's required by Chromium the argument, and it's going to add libxml2 and add the ICU use flag. Now we go ahead and say yes, go ahead and replace it. Now, mind you, uh, we'll be undoing this in a little bit because I'm going to show you what the real issue is. So then we go ahead and tell it, all right, now let's emerge and check it out. So it goes through the dependencies. It checks it again. It's making sure it's checking the new use flags that we just did. And it should give us a new list of applications that may or may not need compiled. And it flies through rethinking it all. It takes a little bit of time. I'm going to go ahead and pause it for a moment just to uh, let it get through okay so now it's popped up our new list and as we'll see something's changed here it now says it's going to upgrade libxml2 to 2.90 r2.2 which it's currently at 2.9.1-r1 using the ICU but down here it's saying that we need to make another change for the new version that it wants to update do we want to do this well normally you'd say yeah we want to do this so we hit yes and do another sudo etc it's gonna of course if we look at the, the thing there it's doing the same stuff where it's saying required by chromium 2.2.9 is gonna add ICU and then yes we want to say yes and yes go ahead and update it and we run it again as you can see, it's kind of doing this redundant circular thing here. Calculates, and I'm going to go ahead and pause it again while we wait so you don't have to sit here waiting with me. All right, so now it's gone through and found the dependencies again, and it's found a little, little bit more. See, for instance, it wants to update. It still says that it's got the problem with the lib XML. If we continue to go down here, we now have some more problems. Keyword changes, it now says. It says that with the new version, 
that we're going to now have to update uh, STRI Strigi, um, KDE Graphics Strigi uh, an Analyzer, KDE Graphics Metafile, KDE Meta, all of this stuff is now going to need to be updated and it wants to do a whole bunch more because of the way it's updating. It's also saying that we need to unmask this new version of LiveXML2. Now when you see something like that, that should send a warning flag that something is not right with the system and that's not proper. And it's time to go to Google and try to find an answer. So we're going to tell it no, we do not want to update those changes. We want to go back into nano, into you, into the portage area, package dot use, and we want to undo those few things. Now this is why it's really good to use the auto unmask dash write feature because it does such a great job of putting all your information down here and we want to just go ahead and delete those few lines there for chromium. Now what I have found is that the real problem with chromium within Gen 2 is that the QT WebKit and the LibXML2 both require ICU use flag to be set up. And if that's not set up properly at the beginning, then you're going to end up with this issue with LibXML2 trying to upgrade itself and go forward. Now, I've made a little bit of a mistake here, typical of myself because I forget my uh, sudo command all the time. And so we get rid of this again. Now I can save it. Now what we really need to do is edit the I, the the um, QT WebKit. So if we do an emerge dash AV QT WebKit here, it should pull it up here in a moment. I will pause it once again so you guys don't have to wait for the calculating dependency issue. As you can see now that it's pulled up, we have minus ICU. Now we can do one of two things. It was suggested in the Google documents that I looked at that ICU would be a good use flag to enable globally, in which case we have two options. We can either go into the make.conf and add ICU, then update our world, or we can just update QT WebKit and the libxml2 to both use the ICU use flag. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and update it in the world just because it's a good flag to go ahead and have. So we click on here, hit no, edit our make file, which is found in etc portage make.conf, and we're going to add. I see you to the front here. Save it. Now we're going to want to do a dash A B U new use go deep world. It's going to calculate the dependencies. This one may take a little bit more time, so I'll pause the recording again while it configures it. You don't want to sit here listen to me just ramble while I'm doing that. So one more moment. Okay, so as we see, it's gone through and checked out what all needs to be reinstalled. As we see here, there's a few things if we go ahead and just use the ICU update. Um, oh, and I'm going to have to change the, the LibreOffice because I don't want to rebuild LibreOffice at this time because I took out Bluetooth for LibreOffice and updated a few use flags for the next time I reinstalled it. But if we look at this, most all of this should be used. QD Core, SQL Lite, the LibXML2 is going to be rebuilt with ICU with the current version that's already there. Um, a few other issues here. Um, boost with ICU, Open LDAP, the QT WebKit, as I mentioned. There's a few in here, I guess, that are just going to need updated as well just because we did go deep, we did change it, new use flags, and there's some other use flags I guess I've changed before and haven't done any updates, such as um, 
the ALSA plugins using Pulse Audio. So we'll go ahead and pause here once again. I will do these updates and take out the ones that we really don't need like LibreOffice so that we get an idea how long it really takes to get just the ones that need ICU. And we will be back in just a moment for you. And maybe 45 minutes to an hour for me, we'll see. I'll use the time command to see how long it really takes to compile these programs again. So see you in a moment. Okay, just before I go ahead and compile what I said I was going to compile, I ran through, cleaned up some stuff, because this is my test box, so I got a lot of junk going on there. I had the Sabion repositories in layman set up. I went ahead and got rid of that. And now if we look down what it's going to update here, we just have the basic things that ICU is going to get updated. I just wanted to let you guys see that right off the bat. That's all it really it should be updating with ICU use flag being changed. The QT Core, the SQL Lite, the LibXML2, Boost, OpenLDAP, and the QT WebKit. And I'm going to go ahead and get those updated and we'll move on to the next step. I just wanted to show you guys that before moving on so in case some people were questioning why Crypt Setup, for instance, was there and U Disks and a few other things and why the ALSA drivers and, and a few other things were trying to update too when they had nothing to do with ICU. So without further ado, another moment for you, and who knows how long for me. <laughs> Thanks. And welcome back. What seemed like only a moment to you guys was actually in real time, 55 minutes of compiling. I'm not sure why that says there for the user that it was 252 minutes, unless it's just saying that's what it felt like for me. But... In reality, 55 minutes for those six packages to go ahead and get recompiled using the ICU use flag. Now if we go ahead and look at what the next step will be, we need to check to see what all needs to be done once again to emerge Chromium. Let me pop that back in there. Now if any of you guys are wondering why I don't put the sudo in front of e emerge, I'm not logged in as root. I've just created an alias so that when I type in emerge, it automatically redoes it as equaling sudo emerge to save me some time. And that's all it really is. So now if we look at the dependencies, we notice that there is no need now to re reinstall or upgrade the offending package we have bef we had before lib xml2 everything looks proper everything is just a new file that needs to be done and we look at the chromium and see if there's anything special we want to do and it's not going to build it we're using the bin disk so it's just bin disk of course is going to look for a package that's pre-built to install first sometimes I don't like doing that because if you do for instance Firefox using the bin dist use flag you en you don't end up with Firefox you end up with something else which I can't remember off the top of my head but I prefer the Firefox branding if I'm going to use it but I've really been getting to like Chromium a lot more which is why I'm going to go ahead and see about getting Chromium installed now so I'm going to say no because we're okay with these and the reason why it's always good to do an AV is because you can look at everything here and if there are any surprises it's going to pop up before they actually start to compile but I wouldn't get a good idea of how long it takes to get Chromium installed so I'm going to use the time command I'm going to do an emerge and I'm just going to do a dash V for verbose and type in Chromium get that going and it should start to install and that'll give me an idea too about how long it's going to take for these 17 packages to install and we'll let that go ahead and start going and I do hope that this video isn't too disjointed with starting and stopping starting and stopping as many times but I'm sure you guys don't want to sit here and watch code go across the screen and have to fast forward or get scared that it's like a hour and a half video where most of all that is nothing but code being generated across the screen so I'll go ahead and pause it let it go and we'll get back to you in just a moment it bet you don't take that much longer 
in it um, than the last set did. So anyway, be back in just a moment. And we're back. And boy, did that, oh, that took a long time there. As you can see in there, it's 117 minutes that it took to compile. And I can tell you, I was sitting here falling asleep watching the code go by. And it took a little over an hour just for Chromium to compile. And the NACL tool chain right before it probably took about a good oh probably close to 45 minutes too so an hour and 45 minutes roughly for just those two packages and then the rest that last 10 to 12 minutes or so were probably those other 15 smaller packages and uh, it's got it all going now it says here you may want to install some additional fonts I decided ah what the heck so I went ahead and got them installing over here in another tab so I can go ahead and move on. Those aren't really that important and they're not going to take very long to get through. But uh, everything should now be installed for Chromium and if we go to our menu and boy I forgot which uh, that was in my test box but I was expecting to see something else there. <laughs> but we look over here and we should see that Chromium is now there at the top of the list. We can start her up take a quick look at it just to verify it does open and it does look like it's running so we'll go to a quick you know, let's see here we got our Google Chrome and all that sort of stuff here and we we'll just go to Google real quick uh, like I'm going to spell you know there we are take a quick look at YouTube here and just make sure, see if things are working proper with YouTube. Looks like that's popping up proper. And we'll just click on this top part here, Need for Speed Official Trailer. We won't let it play very long. There it goes. Everything looks like it's working. So there you are. If we think about that, 55 minutes plus 117 minutes, 2 hours. We're just shy under about 3 hours to compile, set that all up, and get it going with the uh, issue with the ICU use flag yeah, something that we need to look at so so when you're emerging something and it's constantly saying oh now this needs done and this needs done and then all of a sudden you got all these broken things here you want to stop and look at look at it and google it and see what you can find out like I said I found out that the ICU use flag needed to be set it needed to be set on QT WebKit as well as the uh, libxml2 program I went ahead and set it up as a global use flag and let the world can recompile. I probably could have saved maybe a half hour by half hour to 45 minutes probably by not doing it and just doing the, the few packages that needed it, but there are only six that needed that. Now it's up and running. It's working in my test box. It's working in my primary box. We're good to go. And I won't bore you for much. Friday there should be a new uh, Linux distribution review. I'm looking at um, Elementary OS. And it's getting very late here, so I'm going to go ahead and finish this up. Let's go ahead and get it going. If it's morning, evening, noon, or night, whatever you're having, enjoy it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for everything else. We'll catch you later. Have a good whatever time of day it is. Enjoy. Bye.